Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Greetings, everybody. I'm going to talk about a TV show called Westworld. It's based off a 1973 film. I think they made a sequel called Future World. It was started in 2000, well, it aired in 2016, the first season, 2018, second season. I think that's a mistake. I'm finally getting the second season uh, done and looking forward to maybe doing a trailer reaction to season three. So I thought I, now that I got the channel, I'd talk about my experience with the show so far. I like the first season a lot. I found myself rolling my eyes here and there, but I got into it. I think it's impressive. It hits a lot of the themes I like, so it's right up my alley. I was impressed with the performances from the actors. There's too many to list. And I was interested in the second season when it was over, but over time, there's just too many good shows. There's not enough time. And I think the hiatus for the show is not good for me. It doesn't suit me very well. And now I'm looking forward to the third season and hopefully my interest will stay peaked and I'll remember to even watch it. Season one, very good. Excellent. Season two, Pretty good, but I think they got lost in the weeds too much. I found myself almost anticipating them abandoning certain plots, certain storylines, and changing it up radically. It almost felt like knowing the 10 episode seasons were a deadline and it felt like it was shown in the execution for season two. I think the season two has a lot more issues for me. The general audience, maybe they would find a couple of things on the same level as me. Storylines that I wish would have went a different way, uh, concluded better, wrapped up uh, uh, more, more suiting for me, I guess. So I could see there being a split with season two. I don't think it's enough to hurt the series. The only thing that bothers me is, like I said, the length of time. If I was going right into season three, I probably wouldn't n notice too much or wouldn't be so much of a nitpick. I, I see the uh, benefit of using Anthony Hopkins in the show. How they decided to do their storyline was a little iffy season one i think they got away with it and people were interested in the mythology they were building and what was really going on this one tries to season two tries to explain a little more but i think it muddies the water even more and hey that could be interesting i'll see where it goes but at the time i'm watching season two and i'm finding a lot of things i'm disagreeing with or just not fit, uh, sitting well with me but when I got to the end, I was like, okay, uh, I liked it. It kept my interest going. I was interested to see what would happen to certain characters, even if they didn't play out the right way for me. However, I think the ending was not that good. So the lead up to the end, I was fine with. I get a little annoyed with uh, I don't know what they're calling him, the man in black. Um, I think he's played by Ed Harris. Stop putting this guy in fight scenes. Stop letting this guy get shot a million fucking times. Unless you're going to reveal that that's a robot or a synthetic, whatever the fuck they are. Anyway. I don't... I liked how they ramped up to the end and then was like, 
this is where they're going to go with it. I, my mind went somewhere else and I wasn't anticipating where they hinted at the third season's going. So now that's why I'm interested in doing a trailer review for season three. So I like season one and two. Season one, I like a lot more. I think season two has a lot of a lot more faults. Not enough to make me say oh, I'm done with the show. Um, you know, you didn't please me. Wah. I'm interested in seeing where it's going. Uh, I think they're making a mistake in the direction. And maybe they'll course correct in some fashion. I wonder if it's still got the critical praise. I think it was like one of the highest rated um, shows at one time. Might have, it might be in a certain category. And it had a lot of hype up around it. I gotta be honest and I don't know. I don't know what hype the show even has anymore. I decided I had a chunk of time and opportunity and I went through all the episodes, so I binge watched them. And uh, I'm going to watch season three. And I think maybe that's the point. A lot of, most of these things, or all of them I do, I don't give major plots and reveals. I don't go too in depth. But maybe if it helps some people just decide, oh, okay. Uh, I understand what doesn't like about it and in a general sense and it somehow informs your decision to watch it or not. I still recommend it. I would recommend season one and two of Westworld. I think it's a top quality show. I just think season two lost itself a little bit. I hope to see something. I hope it surprises. season three surprises me. It could happen. And there's really good actors and performers in it. From top to bottom, side characters, um, the performances are all really good. And you see some familiar faces that uh, you're surprised maybe they're still on the contract. <laughs> or they enjoy doing it, so that's a pleasure. Um, it elevates the show. It keeps it at a certain level. It gives it, its, uh, it, gives it a lot of weight. Especially when you're dealing with a lot of these twist and turn type reveals. And it definitely helps that you get so many quality actors. So those are my thoughts on season one and two of Westworld. Season one's amazing. Must watch probably. And then watch season two. It's enjoyable. There goes my alarm. <laughs> anyway. I'll see everybody next time. Until then. Everybody take care.